Hey everyone, it's British from Kubrick and today we are going to talk about how depth segmentation works and how to use it in Kubrick. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our image editor, which is top right there. Once you click on that, you will see an option to upload your image. Let's upload our image. Here we have our image uploaded. And then we need to go to our segment tool, which is the fourth tool from top on the left side where our tools are located. Once you click on that, you will see a depth option in here. We are going to talk about this today. And then as you can see, there is a button appeared, which is called calculate depth map. And keep in mind that you need to select the layer that you want to apply depth segmentation method. Once we click on our layer, let's go hit Calculate Depth Map. As you can see, there is a slider appeared, which is called Depth Range. And this slider has two ends. The left end means background to foreground. And the left end means from foreground to background. And let's say um, I want to segment this image so I have a clean line in here that I can use as a guide while segmenting. So what I will do is I will grab the left end of the slider and then when I feel like okay this is a good one for segmenting I will click add to segments button in here to add it to my layers. So you need to put back the slider to its own original position and when we uh, hide the layer 1 which is our original image we are now able to see our segmented part so let's go back and continue segmenting and let's say i want to have the sky So it can get sensitive sometimes and you can put a number in here, let's say 9, so it's better for us right now. Let's add this one to our segments too and put this to its original position, hide it. And now what we can do, as you can see now we have a small mountain scape in here, we can take our eraser tool. And make sure to select the layer that you want to erase. And let's take these mountains away from here. Here we have our clean sky and we have our foreground sand. What we need is we need a middle ground right now for the best parallax preview effect. So let's go back to our original layer. Let's go to our segment tool again. As you can see, we have our slider here up and running again. And what we need is we will take it from the both ends. Maybe something like this can work. And we will add our middle ground to our layers again. So as you can see, we still need some cleanups in here. Let's take our eraser again. Now since the cleaning is done, let's check our layers again. So I will put the background sky layer Back here we have our middle ground and we have our foreground here. As you can see now there is a small gap between the background and the middle ground. What we can do is we can go to in painting tool from here and we can hide the other two layers and we can fill the gap in that sky. So we can get a maybe a, a bigger brush from here. 
and we to we need to have the replace selected and let's mask over the area that we want to in paint our new sky and if you didn't watch the in painting tutorial that we made I will highly suggest that and let's have a cloudy sky and let's hit generate from in painting now here we have our new sky in painted so let's delete the older one and put it back here now as you can see we have three layers our background layer our middle ground and our foreground so let's make our last cleanups and after this step let's go to our parallax preview tool once you click on that you will see a small camera icon appearing so let's zoom in and let's check the parallax preview As you can see we have three layers moving separately from each other to create the parallax preview effect. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you on different tutorials.